Tracy's garage. He is. He's 20 feet. Well, your friend Natalie could find herself in a lot of trouble. She says the right laugh. Mm -hmm. Right, what are we doing about, Drink? The monster's an only allowed soft drinks and cider. Yuck. Well, we told everyone to bring something. I expect Roy will anyway. Who's Roy? I invited him. And you still haven't invited Daniel. I don't count telling Roy to ask him. Well, what do you expect me to do? That old bloke was going to chuck us out. It wasn't my fault. Get off them, you. Don't be a bug of Chris. So, nobody's allowed to touch the food until the party. What are you wearing tonight, Jace? You're bringing your girlfriend. He's not coming. Go on, Beth. Don't make me go to France. You're too young. You could do the music. We're doing the music. Anyway, we've only got a couple of tapes. Jason, get off, will you? Can you just get out? We're trying to clear the room. You're going to tidy your own room or something. And I don't want you using my room. I don't want your horrible friends snogging in it. Of course they won't, Pet. I'll watch them. He's just too young. He's just too vile for words. Hey, did you invite Ranjit? No. We could try calling him again. I saw him down the dome Saturday. Did you? Who we? Your friend, Tamar, from Wheelie Castle. Is she going out with him? Well, they seem to be on very intimate terms. If you know what I mean. God, I'm awful. Rotten cow. Flippin' invited her to my party as well. What if she comes? What if they both come? I just hope Roy turns up. That'll show him. My brother lost my mother's ashes. That's dreadful. How? When my dad wanted to keep them, we all told him, leave them in the creme, but he wouldn't listen, poor old son. He wanted to put them down in the garden. I wonder what they're going to do with Diane. I hope they leave the ashes there. Well, it's not worth the aggravation of doing anything else. See, my dad sent me brother to get me, Mum. Mm -hmm. Well, I know, Nigel, you wouldn't trust him to get a pint of milk. What did you do with them? Who knows? He said he left them in a the cafe on the motorway, but he never showed up. And my dad still isn't speaking to him. Oh, it's creepy to think someone's ashes lying around. Nobody would take an urn with ashes in it. Oh, they take anything these days, lover. Oh, hello. Have you had any lunch? It's in the paper about Miss Dan. Oh, is it? Very nice. Mr. Darby showed me. Look. It's because I've been dead like. Maybe Mrs. Chance put something in. Hunter Diane, sadly missed by all her friends at Crossroads Motel. Funeral at Eastbury Crematorium, 3.15, 15th of April. Family flowers only. Is that all? It's very nice. Can you take us inside? Oh, jolly good. Well, I could have said a bit more. I like them little rhymes. It's a uh, family, really, see. Of course you are. Flowers may fade, the sun may set, but you, dear Gran, we'll never forget. Ah. Just a line, but it means a lot to let you know, Dad, you're not forgot. You're making them up. No, I'm not. She never had much family. Not really. Look, why didn't you help Fiona and me? Plan the great Easter egg hunt. Needs a couple of packets of ham and sausage you can have. Thanks, Thanks Auntie Marge. Oh, these aren't for hours yet. Yeah, well, we've still got to get ourselves ready. This is great. Yeah. I think we need to pass the sell by date. Well, everything is in this place. Oh, it's all right, love. You can eat it a few days after the date, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Trace. Where's your mum? Fine, thanks, Uncle Ray. Have you got any coloured light bulbs to cook by What do you want coloured light bulbs for? The lights go for the party. Get off the food, Dad. Yeah, so you can't see who you're snogging with, eh? I don't want to frighten them all off, do I? Oh. Fish cake and chips for you, girls, yeah? Oh, oh yeah, please. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Thank you. Thanks. Um. Savaloy. Very large ships in Savaloy. I saw Jason's mum down the shop. Oh, yeah. Uh, I hope you can all manage like this. I don't think we've got any plates left. Sure, so we could stop with them tonight. Uh, fish, right. uh, no. 
pie and chips. Is that you, Jason? No. Hang on a minute, Mother. Come on, Mom. Can I stop with Jason's mum? Only if his mum phones up and says it's all right. Uh, fish cake. There you go. She's giving me a note, look. You must think I was born yesterday. Mom. You're going to, Gran. I won't hear another word about it. So it'll be like a treasure hunt. We'll have to make up lots of clues. I'll say. There's no good at that sort of thing. Of course you are. We could draw pictures, like Humpty Dumpty. To help people find the eggs. Look, we have lots of eggs, and we have to hide them all over the place. And on Easter morning, everybody has to go out and look for them. Yes, we could hide them outside in the ground. Should never have let Miss Diane go to hospital. Miss Diane was very ill. She had to go to hospital. Hey, why don't we make little pretend nests to put the eggs in? Maybe she'd stay at home. She was so ill, nobody could look after her. I could have. I just know I could. Hi, we're talking something. Yeah, so much. Shall I tell you what it is? She, she wasn't ill until she went to hospital. She was ill, Benny, but she didn't know. Now then, you and Moses know the lie of the land, so you'll have to decide where to put the eggs, so people can find them. Oh, you can join in if you like, Freeman. Come on, Fee. Let's go play hide and seek somewhere else. No, we've got to plan this properly. But it isn't Easter for ages. And when it is, you just take the stupid eggs and hide them under some stupid bushes. No. Where to hide them? Where to put the clues? What the clues should be. I should never have let her go to hospital. Oh. What are we going to do? Dunno. If it's not here, there's not much we can do. Look, don't be so pathetic. Just leave it to me. Well, ask them nicely. Look, do you want me to do it or not? Yeah, but just don't show us up, alright? Oh, excuse me. Hello, lover. Oh, just ring the bell. Um, we're looking for the bloke in the leisure centre. Daniel. Yeah, Daniel, but he's not there. Oh, friends of his, are you? Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, come on, I'll show you where the shelly is. <laughs> you do like Easter eggs, don't you? Yeah, because you do. And Moses. Well, then, you and Moses can hide the eggs. Why? Right. You're no good at hiding things. You're good at finding things. Well, you and Moses can go and find the eggs, then. What's it? Chapel arrest? Only Mr. Darby said he's going to see one. When people die, before the funeral, they'll normally a few days Hello. before the actual... Yes. Yes, he's here. It's the she-devil for you. Oh, Debbie. Yes? Oh, we're discussing our Easter activities. Well, yes, it is work, I think. Yes, I'll be along in five minutes. Right. Sorry, we'll have to finish this later. What a shame. I expect you're wanted too, Benny. I said I was coming. Hello. Are you Daniel? No, I am. What do you want? You know the grocer's shop in the High Street? Well, we're having a party there tonight, and you're invited. Oh, but don't forget to bring something to drink. Me? Yeah, it's my birthday. And how old are you? Eighteen. Happy birthday. You can come too if you like. As long as you bring a bottle. I couldn't decide what to get. An art. Oh, or a big day for Miss Diane. Ah. Oh. When my uncle died, my cousins all clubbed together to get him a wreath of an empty chair, you know, for the chair he used to sit in. I think a, a big D would be best, wouldn't it? Is that what you've ordered, then? Yeah. Oh, well, that must have set you back a bob or two. Five pounds. A fiver for a wreath. You do not mind, you've got a bargain there. Well, I, I only had five pounds, see. But Mr. Charles, he did ask the lady, and she said they both cost the same, so, so I were lucky. Oh, oh, look here. 
Somebody's been putting hot cups of coffee on this desk. I don't know who it is. Oh, I know who it is. I've had a word with her before. They'll be coming back here after the funeral, will they? I'll have a good send-off. You know, I had a funny feeling about Miss Diane. Do you want to know what it is? Well, yes, if you like. I don't think she did. I think that it was a trick she played on us. Oh. Oh. What, what do you think? Well, there you are. There's two big suitcases waiting for you at the desk. Are there? Yes. And they want you to take them to Chalet Four. Oh. That was the cheap florist you took him to. I don't think it was that cheap. Well, a father for a big wreath. <laughs> no, it wasn't that cheap. Oh, well. I had an idea it might not have been. I was only worried in case it was going to be one of those empty armchairs. Look down. Oh, now, don't squish your eyes up. Just look down. I'll come to dinner with you and Mum tonight. No. Go on, Dad. You needn't think I'm going to spend eight quid on your dinner, mate. I won't eat much. Look, why can't you just go to your grands and shut up? I don't like it at Grums. She says nasty things about you. Ow, careful, Simon. He's always said nasty things about me. He's never bothered you before. If you let me stop here, I'd stay in my room all night and I wouldn't even come out to go to the lab. Yeah, well, it ain't nothing to do with me, I suppose. No. Oh, the trouble with this gold is it collects in all the wrinkles. It doesn't matter, just put lots on. Okay. Please, babe. I gave you a present. What, a bar of chocolate? I'm surprised you haven't asked for it back yet. Oh, my God. I don't believe this. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> Do you like it? You like a dustbin liner. You can't come to the party in that. You just can't. Oh, you take no notice of them, Tracy. You're better than a snappy dresser when I see one. <laughs> you could uh, pull it down at the bottom a bit, then. You are a horrible little tart. You look like one as well. You're just going to ruin everything for me. Get out of the way. <laughs> She's got no taste. <clears throat> Do you want me to finish your eyes off, then, Sarah? Oh, thanks. <laughs> ah, fee, fee. Hello, do you want the towels? No, I want you. I've got another class till seven. Oh, well, that should give us enough time. Um, you'll have to get your skirts on getting changed, though. I've booked a table at the Mexican place for eight. Packers and tequila. I can't. I promised Charlie I'd help cheer up Benny. Uh, well, you'd rather spend your time with Michael than Benny. Only for an hour. <laughs> you can come as well. You don't really think Mycroft wants you to cheer Benny up, do you? Of course he does. Trying to spoil things. Just trying to come between us. Rubbish. Well, don't blame me if I find somebody else to drink pina coladas with. See ya. See. You can't stay mad at him for long, though, can you? You look smashy. Thanks, Mum. Now be sensible, girls. If any of those gate crashes turn up, you just call the police. Yeah, all right, then, Mum. Come on, the party's starting. Jacket trunk. That's what my dad says. Well, don't do the buttons up. Just leave it open. Great. Right. <laughs> And we got everything. Have you got your checkbook, Brad? Yeah, I'm going to take your dinner. Arriving. Right, now, um, enjoy yourselves. Yeah. And 11.30, don't forget. Right. Yeah, have a nice meal. Yeah, have a nice See you later. Bye. 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 I'm sorry, love. There's no wine allowed at this party. I did ask Beverly to explain to all her friends. You're too young, you know that, don't you? Yeah, so uh, we'll take it with us, eh? Might give you a back later. <laughs> She should never have gone to the hospital. Sometimes, with the sort of illness like Diane had, even if the person lives, their brains don't work properly anymore. She was ever so good to me, you know. She, she did teach me to read and write. Do you believe in heaven? Oh, yes. It's nice to think of Miss Diane up in heaven, watching us. What about all this bunny hopping? I'll sponsor you, Benny. Let's raise some money for poor children. I don't think I could do it. Oh, you could, you know. It's easy. I'll show you. Hop, hop, hop. You're not hop. doing it properly, <coughs> Charlie. <coughs> Look. Oh, can you show me? Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Well, I, I better be up because it Moses. He, he, he do need a walk. Come on, Moses. I'll see you tomorrow, Benny. Bye, Benny. Bye. Oh dear. Who 
did you mean, boy? Then, what the people? I can see you asked the snotty skulls in your pants. Did you mean boy to any blow? Of course we did. And if Daniel didn't turn up, it's all your fault. You put him off. Well, I can't have put them all off, can I? You're all by myself. Give over, will you? They'll be all right. You such dreadful things about some of these parties. Well, Tracy's got her head screwed on. Oh, glad you think so. I mean, some of those teenage boys have knives. What in King's Oath? I thought we moved here to get away from that sort of thing. I mean, they only want one thing. They get the girls drunk and drag them off into the bedrooms. Yeah, I know. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's only 16. I mean, what if she gets pregnant? For heaven's sake, it's not just getting pregnant you have to worry about these Yeah, all right, things, all right. I think she knows about that sort of thing. Yeah. They start drinking and they forget all you've told them. They've got two bottles of cider. Aren't they going to start on each other after that lot, are they? Do you want another one? Go. Go, go. Mm. Excellent party, Beverly. I'm sorry I didn't call you. Do you know Tammy? Oh, yes. The bar the green bicycle. Hello. What are you going to do? Smack her face in the hole, boy. You know, if I had a knife, I could stick it right in his eye when it rips. Oh, why give him the satisfaction? He's only trying to make you jealous. Yeah, well, two can play at that game. Where's James? Tracy's after him. Oh, my God, he can't fancy her. She's the common. Well, if you go for James Billington, who does that leave me with? Oh. Hi, sis. Nice party. Come on, girls. Drinks over here. Kill you, Jason Rice. Just you wait till we get home. Just look at that, Tammy. That's it. It's just got to be James Billington. There you go, easy on that martini. Pet, you'll be sick on your leg, Hey, that bloke over there. Yeah, I go to our school. His name's James. Are you bloody fancy you? No. Not really. <laughs> right. See you later then. <laughs> this is the worst party I have ever been to in my whole bleeping life. 